Hi everyone. We have a projectile problem here in which a ball is projected from the top of a cliff or a building a hundred meters above the ground at an angle of 30 degrees. The ball goes up and then hits the ground at a position C. So the question is for us to calculate the horizontal range. Now, this problem is a little different from the nature of the problems that we have been doing so far. But we will use the same logic, the same procedure, like we've done in the previous problems. Remember, in any given projectile motion problem, it can be solved using just a set of four equations. I'm going to do this here. In the x direction, you have a set of two equations, which you have vx is equal to v naught cosine theta, and x is just going to be v naught t cosine theta. In the y direction, you have vy equal to v naught sine theta minus gt and y equal to v naught t sine theta minus one half gt squared. Remember that we have, we have taken our origin to be at this point. This is our origin. So, just like we did before, we can resolve V naught into 2. This will be V naught cosine theta. This will be V naught sine theta. At point A, Vy is equal to 0. At point A, Vy is equal to 0, Vx is still V naught cosine theta. Remember that the distance from here to here, if we call this Y max, and the distance from here to here is H. So the maximum height. will be equal to h plus y max. At point B, what you need to understand is that at point B, x is less than r, y is zero because it levels off with the origin. Vx is equal to v naught sine theta and Vy is equal to negative V naught, sorry, this is cosine theta. V naught is negative V naught sine theta. The reason it's negative V naught sine theta is because if you do the vector, this is still V, this will be Vx, and this will be Vy. It's the, the, the projectile part is symmetrical, which means that when it's at B, it's just like when it's at O, but the problem is that the direction is reversed. So that explains why Vy is negative. At point C, you have x equal to r, you have y equal to negative h, you have Vx equal to V naught cosine theta and you have Vy equal to V sine theta minus GT. So we have looked at the motion of the particle at key points. But the question here is for us to calculate the horizontal range and for us to calculate the speed with which the object hits the ground. Now, to calculate the horizontal range, first of all, 
To calculate the horizontal range, first of all, remember that it's a horizontal distance, in which case R will be equal to Vx multiplied by T. The problem is, in this case, T is the total time of flight. Total time of flight, which will be equal to V naught, remember V naught cosine theta, multiplied by T. So the question is, how do we calculate the total time of flight? Now remember, when the ball hits the ground, y is equal to minus h. And what is y? y is equal to v naught t sine theta minus 1 half g t squared. This is equal to minus h when the ball hits the ground. So what do we do next? You would see that H plus V naught T sine theta minus one half G T squared will be equal to zero. What is H? H is 100. This is 100 plus 20 multiply by t, which we don't know, sine 30 degrees, which is 1 half, minus 1 half, I'm going to take g as 10, t squared, all of this should be equal to 0. So this becomes 100 plus 10 t minus 5 t squared equal to 0. We can solve this using the quadratic equation in which t will be equal to negative b, which is negative 10, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 10 squared, minus 4a, which is 100, c, which is minus 5, all divided by 2a, which is negative 5. If we solve this equation, t will be equal to 5.58 seconds. This is t. So the total time t is 5.58 seconds. So we can use this total time t to calculate the range r. So the range R will be equal to 20 which is just equal to 97 meters, 97 meters. This gives us the range of the projectile motion. So from here to here, it's about 97 meters. Another way that you could have solved this problem is to use the equation of path in which y sub x is equal to x tan theta minus g x squared divided by 2v naught squared cosine squared theta. Remember that when y hits the ground at x, at sorry, at c, it's equal to minus h. So this would mean that negative h is equal to x tan theta minus g x squared divided by 2 not squared, cosine squared theta. Now we are looking for x. We know h, we know theta, and we know v naught. So this would mean that negative 100 is equal to x tan of 30 degrees minus 10 
x squared divided by 2 20 squared cosine squared 30. And if you solve this quadratic equation, x will come out to be 97 meters as well. In either case, you are forced to solve a quadratic equation. So whether you're analyzing such a motion, you rely strictly on four basic equations. 